Hello everyone, it's Gladius. Let's talk about Hunter's favorite subject, pets. So in Pets in the Season of Discovery, you really only have a couple options. And I'm gonna talk about them here. First thing, you definitely need to get a Scorpid. Scorpid, no question, is the highest performing pet. Now this has been a little bit of a roller coaster ride with Blizzard in the nerf bat. We've received several nerfs even before Season of Discovery came out. And then also we got another one with Scorpid pets in particular. Pet scaling has definitely taken a hit. And also the Scorpid has received a nerf directly as well, making its Scorpid Sting not proc off of the kill command. However, it's still doing about 40% of our damage, and in some fights, it's actually going to out damage you as well. So, Scorpid, the Scorpid poison is just super strong. The Scorpid pet is a must have for any raider. And that doesn't mean you're always going to use it, though. And we'll talk about those cases in just a second. But first, if you want to get your Scorpid, head south of Camp Tarajo. You're going to find Scorpids just below there where you can tame one. Now, something to know is that these are Scorpid Swarmers, and these things will summon adds to attack you while you're trying to, to tame it. To get around this, you're really gonna have to use Concussive Shot and Freezing Trap combination to be able to tame it without dying. If you just try to face tank it, you're going to die because it's gonna summon about five of these Swarmers, and you just, you can't handle it. So head there to get your Scorpid. You definitely need to have one in your stable. Now, the next thing you wanna take a look at, if you are raiding with another hunter that has as a Scorpid already, you're going to want to take a Wind Serpent. This is going to be more of a support hunter playstyle where you're going to be taking Aspect of the Lion to be able to give kings to your entire group. So if you have another source of kings, don't worry about it. Don't worry about taking Aspect of the Lion, but definitely take it if there's no other king's buff on the table. Now we're going into a third option here. This is something I have as my secondary. I have a Scorpid and also I have a cat as a secondary. Cats in PVP are really strong because of their attack speed. Relic and the Rake are both gonna have the 1.2 attack speed, which is a lot faster than the 2.0 that the general cats have. Relic is the summoned hunter rare that you can get from finding Dorotar pig meat and placing it on the island where you get the flanking strike rune. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to get the pig meat again after completing the quest. I kind of just gave up farming that. So this may not be an, uh, an option for hunters that have already completed the quest. You're welcome to try, but I just haven't had any luck getting the pig meat again. I do have flanking strike, so that might be why it might be off the uh, loot table for me now. If you're in the same boat as me and you already defeated Ralic, then you can go over to Mulgor and find the rake. The rake is just going to be a padding cat that's going to be in this area over here. I was able to find him pretty quick. You just kind of wander around that area. If you just do a circle again and again and again, you'll eventually find him. Now that you got a really strong pet at your side, you need to make sure that you have the gear to do the damage as well. There's actually a pretty strong solo farm that can get you gold and gear that I'm going to link in the description below. Go ahead and take a look at that video. All right. And everyone, if the video helped you out today, please rogue strike that like button. If you want to stay tuned for more wow content in the future, please bash the subscribe. I appreciate your time and I'll see you in the next one. Bye everyone.